All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to graph this problem in eCampus. I believe it's changed because I think it used to be uh, uh, where you'd have to choose the right graph. So let me show you how to do this. I had to play with it a little bit myself. So first of all, this is a sine curve. So let's go ahead and click here. Sine curve start at 0, 0. Now, let's see, the amplitude here is or A is, or the absolute value of A is 3 over 2, or 1.5. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then the period is going to be um, 2 pi over B, where B is the number here. So 2 pi over 2, that's going to be pi. And so let's move this to pi. There is no vertical shift because you don't have a number added or subtracted out here separate from this expression. Um, we don't have any reflections because there's no negatives here. And so we just have a phase shift of, <coughs> excuse me, let's see, it would be negative pi over 4. In this case, d would be negative pi over 4 because remember the formula has a minus here and so since this is positive pi over 4 d is it d i always forget the letters uh, i don't have it in front of me but it's this value here and that's going to be negative pi over 4 and so that's what's whoops that's what's different here is they're not allowing you to use pi. We don't have any, I don't know of any way to type in pi here. And so what I'm going to do on my calculator, I'm going to put in pi. It's the exponent button, second, and then the exponent button. So pi divided by 4. And the first time I did it, I only rounded to three decimal places, and it marked it wrong. And so I went further. Um, it, it's going to be negative. 0.785398 and that got that that was enough when I did it so 0.785398 and so we're going to save all that we're going to check our answer and we're good so I hope that helps if you have any problems with any of the other ones let me know and I'll make videos for those that's it.